Hi everyone, in this video I'm just going to explain this HTML unit driver. I mean people can people say this headless browser testing. So what's it exactly? So that is simple. I mean without any Firefox, I mean um, any Firefox or uh, any browsers, I mean without browser I am going to verify. Simple because every time we cannot test it right while you are testing or while you're writing the scripts. It is not very uh, easy to every time you, you need not to open the uh, Firefox driver or any browser, Chrome browser or Internet Explorer, anything. So without this, what I'm going to get is now that simple here, for example, I'm going to eliminate this Firefox driver. Instead of that, I'm going to create the driver for uh, HTML unit driver, right? So new HT ml unit driver so i think it's the one once if you hover the mouse you can import the driver from the package now it's fine now uh, what's exactly it's now is now i'm going to open the example google url why should always be google i'm just gonna open now this uh, bing now so to open the Bing search engine URL. So what I'm going to do is HTML unit driver dot find element by it. Before that, I need to open right. So unit driver dot uh, get URL is HTTPS. See, uh, it's very simple. Okay, without browser, we can uh, get it. For example, I'm going to open, I mean, print this HTML unit driver dot uh, get title. So you can see this, it, it, it should be printing the title here now. So, control F11. It's like a simulator. See, it's open, and uh, if you open this, in Firefox, you can verify this bing.com. Bing.com, you can see this. This is the title it shows here in the Eclipse cancel now. So, for example, if you want to enter something in this search box here, just get this ID now. Inspect with the Firebug um, element. So, the actual ID is so I'm going to enter something to search here for example okay um what is that html unit driver dot find element by id dot send keys i'm going to enter something here such as what i can okay Selenium job openings in Microsoft something like that okay uh, just I'm putting this so just I'm gonna close this now okay fine now so I'm going to get this title again now see control F11 See both are uh, it should the title shows uh, result so you can get the page shows and all the same thing. Sorry. Yeah, because why it doesn't show this title? No, because we didn't click the button. So we need to search the click button, right? So I'm going to get this element to click. So, let's put element. Okay, so we're gonna click this. SB form Q. What is the ID for this? So I need to verify this, right? So okay, it's a Q. Okay, so I'm just copying this now. Go. Key for query. Go for search now. So. Here instead of that, I need to click it. So this time 
I should be getting this. The next time it when it prints, I should get this. See, when I click this second time, uh, sorry, when it print, I should get this title here. Selenium opening, something like that. So what's, what is it exactly showing here? So, I'm going to test this. Control F11. See, now the title has changed. So, to avoid the browser, uh, to save your time, and to run your script easily, to get the, some uh, elements or details in the console box, you can verify using this HTML unit driver. That's it. In next video, I'm going to show and tell you and show you that how to enable the JavaScript also for the HTML unit driver. That's it. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please provide the comments and feedbacks in my video forms. Thank you. Bye.